Hello! In this video, you're going to learn how to add directional rolling to your character. So we'll make it so we can make our character roll in whatever direction they want. Forwards, backwards, whatever. Hello! I'm in the third person template, and to get started, we're first going to import our character's rolling animation. Somewhere in the description of this video, I'm going to make sure to include a link to a rolling animation. Make sure to download that and just drag and import it into the character animation folder. For the skeleton, make sure to select the SK mannequin and just go import. Then we just want to select this um, rolling animation and open it up. We're going to make this animation use root motion and what that will do is it will make it so the animation will drive the movement of our character. So to enable this option, just scroll down and we're going to go to root motion and just check enable root motion. Then go save. Then we just want to right click on this animation and go create and create an animation montage. Next, head over to your um, character's animation blueprint. So mine is ABP Manny and make sure in the animation graph that it has this default slot. If we don't have this, then the animation montage won't work. So the next thing we're going to do is that directional rolling. I'm going to make it so when my player presses the Z key, they'll be able to roll in whatever direction they want. So to set this up, if we just go over to the input folder and go over to actions, let's create a new action for when we want our player to roll. So I'm just going to right click and go input and select input action. And I'll just call this input action underscore roll. Then if we just go back to our input folder, open up the input mapping context. This basically has all of the controls for our game. And we want to go to mapping, add a new mapping and just select the roll. Click here, and like I said, I'm going to make it so when the player presses the Z button, they'll be able to roll. So I'm going to bind the rolling action to the Z key. We can save this. Then we just want to head over to our third person character and find some free space and just right click and look for input action roll. So this one, the input action roll that we just made, click this little arrow, and whenever I press the Z button, this started node is going to fire once. And when this happens, we're going to make our character roll. Although, I only want my character to roll if they're moving. So if we drag in the character movement, drag off here, and look for Get Velocity. Then drag off here, and look for Vector Length. This will tell us the speed of our character. If this is ever greater than 1, that means my character is moving, and will allow them to roll. So I'm going to type in 1 here, drag off here, and look for Branch and just connect from started into here. When my character rolls, the first thing we're going to do is drag off here and look for do once. Then we're going to set our character's rotation to be the direction that they want to roll in. So if we just drag off here and look for set actor rotation, then to get the rotation that we're going to make our character roll in, we can right click and look for get last movement input vector, drag off here, and look for rotation from x. So we want this one, rotation from x vector, and connect this into here. This will basically get the last movement direction that our character was in, and we're gonna make our character roll in that direction. We can then drag off here, and look for play animation montage. For the animation montage, we're gonna select the rolling one that we just made. Then we wanna have a delay, so drag off here and look for delay. And this delay is going to last however long our rolling animation is. So connect from the return value into here. And after that delay, we will reset this do once, which will allow our player to roll again. I'm just going to double click to add some reroute nodes to make this a bit tidier. Then if I just comment everything, so I just selected everything and press C. And I'll just call this my simple directional roll. I can then go compile close this and now if I play my game if I move forwards and press Z we can see I roll forwards if I go backwards and press Z we can see I roll backwards and I can roll in any direction that I want nice